name is Todd Brinkman. I'm the uh, assistant professor of wildlife ecology. One of the greatest assets of this university is our surroundings. And we have wildlife, we have wild lands, we have public land that is different than any other place. So when you come up here, you're gonna have exposure to things that you absolutely would not at other universities. Anytime you do research in, in remote Alaska, it's always an adventure. If you think you have total control, um, you're lying to yourself. I mean, the environment can throw something at you at any time and it can completely change your research plans. What I do kind of uh, brings together two things I really enjoy, one studying wildlife, but the human dimension part is just having conversations and, and, and hearing what other hunters think about the way that the environment is changing or the way that wildlife are acting or how to effectively harvest wildlife. So I think a lot of people in Alaska, what they have in common the, the environment, the wildlife around them, uh, it, it defines them. It's, it's a big part of their cultural identity. What we're doing more and more of is like citizen science, community-based monitoring, where, where the people I'm working with are, are more like collaborators than research subjects. And a lot of that research uh, involves surveys, um, sending down interviews, focus group discussions, and also just trying to understand uh, the large impacts that uh, humans and industry are, are having on wildlife populations and their habitat. All my graduate students, um, I, I know that they really know their stuff when they can explain these really complex issues in simple terms. I think every scientist, every graduate student needs to be able to communicate with a diversity of audiences. And for the students that think that this field is all about running around in the woods and chasing animals and stuff, there is still some of that, but we also spend a lot of time in front of the computer. Um, if you want to be happy, you just try to find the balance between both of them.